Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today I'm doing a beer review on this Bolter Pilsener. Now, I've seen this beer in the local bottle shop for quite a while and I've never bought one before because they're about $70 to $80 for a carton or like 20, 25 bucks a six pack, which has really turned me off from just buying one. But they came up on special in the throwaway bin. So I thought, well, perfect opportunity for me to give one of these bolters a go. Now this is the Pilsner. Now the spiel on the back reckons it's crisp, but not like a lettuce. That the balanced malt pulls you in for a hug before the hops get frisky with floral aromas and a refreshing bitter finish. Now they say that it's perfect straight from the esky and to have at a barbecue. Well, well I'm down with this. Now this beer costs as much as a steak, so whoa. let's see what I'd prefer, a beer or a steak. Now it says here brewed and canned in Corumban, Queensland. So this is a local beer. It's just made down the road from where I live. That'll probably explain why they say on the back here that it's great for barbecues and straight from the esky. When they say straight from the esky, I'm guessing straight from the ice, because Queenslanders love their beers ice cold. Now, Bolter Beer was actually founded by a bunch of surfers, including Mick Fanning and Joel Parkinson. It's 4.9% alcohol, and this is one and a half standard drinks for this tin. Anyway, let's see what it looks like. My favorite sound in the world. Ah, sound of success. Here we go. Well, that's pretty nice and bubbly there, isn't it? Lots of bubbles coming up. The head isn't really that frothy on it. Not as frothy as I was expecting. Well, it's got a nice colour about it, a very caramelly one, but a light caramel. It's a very light amber. It looks like I was just about to run a red light, and that's the colour I was looking at before I ran through it. The sun shining through there just makes it look all the more drinkable, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Mmm, it's got a beautiful florally scent here. It smells like I've just walked past a tree that's fully laden with flowers. It smells good. Can't wait to try this bad boy. Let's go. Ooh, that's nice. Mmm. Straight on the tongue, it's got these real fruity sort of flavors. It's a really nice balance there. The malt sort of just peeks its head through, but then the hops really follow it down. Then the hops sit there on your tongue towards the back of it and just mellow and relax there while the malt finds its way down to your esophagus. Oh man, this is good. Mmm. This is nice. It's got a little bit of sweetness about it. It is quite dry, but it's really nice on the tongue, really easy to drink. Definitely a session ale, I'd say, but at 4.9%, I wouldn't want to be going too hard on them. But I tell you what, the flavor in this Bolter Pilsener, man, <laughs> it's, a, it's really nice. Wow, I wonder it's how expensive. Oh, that's really easy to drink. A really nice beer. It tastes absolutely delicious and is going down an absolute treat. I could really just see myself sitting beside a pool, polishing some of these off. Hey, wait, I already am. <laughs> Definitely worth giving one of these a go. Really tasty and I'm really enjoying it. So, how many stubbies out of 10 is this bad boy worth? Well, for this, Bolter Pilsener, mate, it's got beautiful flavors. It's easy to drink. It tastes really nice. So out of 10, I'm giving this nine stubbies out of 10. It's an absolutely delicious beer and I could see myself easily going through cans of this, no worries. Mmm, good stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for my next review. Catch you then.